Andy, thanks for joining us. Uh, your thoughts on today's game? Um, a good point earned away from home. I think we had control of the first half. We created chances out. We spoke about pre-game how we thought we could do because of the way that they pressed and we changed the way we built up slightly to, to use the strengths of our team. And the probably overriding emotion is that we weren't ruthless enough in, in both boxes. Uh, and when we had the chances, and we, we could have taken the game away from, from Cambridge in the first 10-15 minutes with the chances that we had. Um, we then had a couple in the second half, um, but they, they get themselves back in the game and they've got really effective players uh, and they make you defend aerial balls uh, from a goalkeeper and, and land on second balls. And really effective wide players who can go past you 1v1 uh, and then they get balls in the box and because of how they attack, they get set play. So they put you under pressure, but I thought we stood up to that really well. And yeah, it, it's a good point against a team who'd won three home games on the spin. Yeah, and especially indebted to your goalkeeper with that penalty save from Connor right at the death. Yeah, that's his job. He's he's got a reputation for saving penalties. It's a credit to the work of of the analysts and, and to to Carlo Nash and to, and to Jason that the the work they do off of the pitch that for those kind of moments they they try and do the homework and, and Connor makes a decision on the pitch and he saves the penalty. You got off to a good start with Ben Garrity's goal. He can do no wrong. But there was also what must have been pleasing for you it was the build up and the execution. Yeah, as I say, we, we looked at the way that they pressed and we probably learned our lessons a little bit from, from Oxford in terms of their 4-4-2 press and we could get another outfield player ahead of the ball uh, and use Connor Moore. And again, tr try and use the strengths of our team against certain weaknesses that we thought in their team as well. So, But yeah, d delighted for, for really long spells of the first half. I thought we had real control. We, 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 we could play through them. We, we found the tens in the half space. And But yeah, the, the disappointment for me is that we weren't ruthless enough in the box when, when the chances arose. How disappointing was it to concede that equaliser when it came about? Because they just kind of had that triple substitution and all of a sudden you just felt the, a bit of an upswing in their play at the time. Yeah, and that's the thing that marks on a regular basis. He, he takes the, the front three off and changes them. The crowd have seen them have success before, so the crowd get a little lift, uh, and you know the, the lad takes the, the, the chance well. Um, and for five minutes, we, we're hanging on, uh, but we, we kept defending, we kept doing, doing all the things that, that you have to do um, when you're out of possession, uh, and we, we, we end a well, well in point. You made a couple of changes at half time. What was the thinking behind those? Um, I thought they were really threatening down, down the right hand side, and Kofi had been booked earlier, um, maybe was on a bit of a knife edge, so you, you make a decision, uh, yeah, and that's the reason why. Still fourth on the table, and I guess, although you wanted the three points, you've come back from the Burton defeat, you've got a point in the bag, it's a difficult place to come. Yeah, um, the Burton performance, for large parts, it was, a, was a really good performance, especially with the ball, we made defensive errors in that game, which they took advantage of, um, but yeah, we, we we come on the road again, and obviously since the opening game, we, we've collected points in every away game, and if you want to be a successful team and you want to be a competitive team, you have to pick up points away from them. I thought James Wilson led the line superbly for you today as well, didn't he? He ran his socks off. Yeah, um, it is the... The, the, the number nine we've got available currently. Um, so yeah, uh, for, for for James to to keep going his first 90 minutes on Tuesday night for for a fair period of time. So yeah, we've, we've got to look after him as well. So but yeah, some of his play in the first half was really good. And say so that the combinations uh, with, with the tens and wing backs uh, and wide centre backs, I think anyone can see that we're becoming a better team with the ball and, and we're working on certain aspects, and it's becoming more natural to the players. Yeah, so plenty of positives to take forward now into the game on Tuesday night against Sutton. Yeah, of course there is. We're on a really good run of form. Mm. We're, we're collecting points. Our performance levels, in my opinion, are getting better. Uh, and we have to keep looking at ways to improve, both individually and collectively. Uh, and we now go and take on, on Sutton in the third round of the Carabao Cup uh, with a chance uh, to move on to the fourth round. But, you know, a, a really difficult game. Um, I said on Thursday that Sutton bring their own strengths uh, to, to the game and, and we have to nullify them. But we have to try and play our game. Notice that Dan Jones and Josh were here, uh, Jess Debra were here today. No Ryan Loft and no Josh Thomas. What's the latest with those two? Yeah, Josh is still ill. Um, hopefully he'll be back available uh, for, for the start of the week. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, unfortunately, Ryan's calf is, is slightly worse than we obviously hoped at this, um, when it first happened. So he's, he's going to be out for a period of time with his calf. Yeah. Just a word about the supporters as well. Over 700 here today. Magnificent, isn't it? 
yeah, the support for us has, has been incredible, um, but both home and away, and we, we, we really appreciate that. I think you, they can see that, that the group are giving everything um, for, for, for each other, for the football club, and more importantly, for the support. So as long as that's a, a basic requirement from our team, I think the fans are enjoying what they're seeing. We want them to be excited. We want them to come and watch us at home or away and thinking we, we're going to try and win the game, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be entertaining with the ball, um, and, and hopefully we can keep getting better.